Hey guys, so today we're going to discuss the best scapular position for a good handstand. In our world, in the gymnastic bodies universe, we want strongly elevated and protracted shoulder blades when we're upside down. Uh, let me show you a visualization of why that's important. Now, undoubtedly, many of you have seen a banana shaped handstand or an improperly trained handstand. I used to have a banana shaped handstand, I'd like to show the mobility of the hip uh, flexibility to maintain a good stack until I worked on it. The reason why we don't want a banana shaped handstand or an improperly trained one is because it's simply just very difficult to maintain. There's no mechanical ad advantage to holding a uh, really improperly stacked handstand. In fact, you're just going to be working too hard. So the reason we protract or allow our shoulder blades to wrap around our rib cage in an inverted position is because it's simply more advantageous for our handstands to stay up. So work on your protraction, work on your elevation, work on your shoulder flexion, work on loosening up those hips so that you can maintain that nice handstand alignment so we can keep this stack. This will be more efficient for you, it will be less work once you develop the cues uh, and the proper mobility and flexibility in your shoulders and your hips and strengthen your core and all that good stuff that we preach about how to get a really good, properly stacked handstand. Remember, protraction, protraction, protraction. Take care guys.